There are master chefs, master plumbers, master electricians, the list goes on. But have you ever heard of a master quilter? Turns out a woman from Maine holds that title and many more. Margaret Solomon Gunn calls herself a dreamer. And with every stitch, she brings her imagination to life. So this is sort of like putting the bones into your quilt. The, and once you get the bones, then you can add the details. The mechanical engineer turned full-time quilter has been piecing together her own works of art since her college days in the late 80s. This is an 84-inch quilt, and I think I spent ballpark 18 hours on it. But it wasn't until the early 2000s that Margaret really got serious about it. I saw this ad on TV for Project Linus, and it was like, make us a quilt, donate it. And I went, sure, I can do that. By the end of the year, I think I'd made 40 and donated them. The whole process of getting, you know, back into sewing and getting to do something when the kids were sleeping and I mean, it was kind of fun and it sort of rejuvenated that that love of handling the textiles and and creating. That love turned into a small business and a way for Margaret to lean into her competitive side. I was new. I was le still learning what to do and how to do it and somebody said, "Wow, you ought to enter this at such and such um, quilt show. It wasn't, and it turns out it was only about an hour and a half from me. I went, okay, hey, challenge on. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what I was in for. I really didn't. It ended up winning the Rookie of the Year Award, which is given to someone who has been quilting less than a year. And I thought, well, this is pretty neat. But the bigger picture of getting to go to this show and to see all the, 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 the beautiful quilts hanging is that I was motivated. I was like, wow, that was an accident. I'm going to make one for real this time. She's not kidding. It's called The Value of Violet. Since 2011, Margaret has stitched 25 competition quilts. She's won 82 top awards, has taken home 33 best of shows, and... Yellow one on the wall over there, that's another one that is uh, fairly elusive. That's called a Masterpiece Quilt Award. And... 37 people have ever won one of these. But those awards pale in comparison to her latest victory. That's the big granddaddy of them all. Where this master quilter took home the Best of Show Award it's, it's at an American elusive. Quilters not, not Association competition in Paducah, Kentucky. For her masterpiece, she named Sweet Madam Blue. And I stumbled upon these from an Etsy seller. The, this is a, a tatted lace doily. Um, and at the time, I had no clue what I was going to do with this. You know, I'm, I, I'm a dreamer, we'll say. And I just saw that and thought, that's kind of neat. You know, I'll buy 10. <laughs> In the process of ordering them, I realized that they, they were shipping from Turkey. That gave her an idea. Margaret decided to base her entire design around Turkish-inspired artwork. There was just one problem. I needed to make this with blue. And blue is not a color I work with. I don't decorate with blue. I, I don't do anything blue. And it was like, oh, I have to use blue. Oh. <laughs> so I went, OK, challenge on. She started the quilt in December of 2019. It wouldn't be complete and ready for competition until January of 2022. This is quilted. I went back after this and spent about six months adding embroidery and beading and detailing to it. Not only did she hand stitch every single flower, but she dyed all of her silk fabric different shades of blue to really nail her vision. When I sit down and I start a quilt, I'm not making it for anyone but me. I'm fulfilling my design aesthetic. I'm doing things on it that I want. I don't care what the judges are gonna think. I'm going to put together the best piece that I know how to make, and hopefully they like it. The judges in Paducah didn't just like it, they loved it. Paducah is a tough show. There's nearly 400 of the best quilts 
internationally entered there. The quilt is now on display in a museum in Kentucky, and Margaret is already thinking about her next challenge. You don't enter the, qu the quilt show going, yeah, I'm going to win this one. You don't. Every single one of them you enter going, maybe I'll ribbon. You can't be that person who tries to make what they want to see or what you think they want to see because you won't, you won't satisfy every one of them. They're all different. It's, it's, a, it's in your soul, I think, is where I see it. By the way, in addition to that ribbon, Margaret took home a prize of $20,000 for her quilt. And if you're wondering where the name Sweet Madame Blue came from, Margaret listened to a lot of sticks while she was working on it. My kind of girl, love it.